Today, the world takes on a tough subject, cancer. On this World Cancer Day, News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from the Mission Cancer Center. And Victoria, this year is all about debunking myths. Absolutely, Jay. That's the whole focus of this. And there's some major myths that we're going to take on each time we're visiting with you this morning. World Cancer Day has been declared for today, and it is so crucial for us to get people talking about this disease that impacts almost every one of us. Dr. Michael Messino and I were talking. We can safely say that whether we are the cancer patient or we know someone, cancer impacts every life here, doesn't it? Yes, we, we do have uh, patients that have family members. We have friends. Everybody we know has had cancer and everyone we know has had some type of experience with cancer. Okay, so we were talking about how important this is. We saw during the Super Bowl just how important this is. One of the advertisers used their very pricey 30-second spot to get us thinking about today. That was Chevy. It was, we're looking at some video of that right now, I believe. What does that say to you and the importance of us talking about this? It's, it's important to be aware of cancer because there are some myths that are just not correct. Um, the more you know about cancer, the more you understand that cancer is now a curable disease many times. It's certainly very treatable. It's a disease that I think we're going to have to uh, face. And as I said, we have lots of people who know somebody who's had cancer and they were having it in their family. And that really covers the first myth that we were talking about here on their website. This is a great website. We'll have a link for you on news links. But it talks about the first myth was we don't need to talk about cancer. And really, if we don't talk about cancer, then it becomes a victor. It succeeds in taking lives and, and hurting more people, doesn't it? That's correct. That's Coming correct. up in our next half hour, how about we take on the next myth and see what we need to find out about myth number two in this entire fight. Sound like a plan? Sounds like it's good. All right. We'll be that back with that live in our next half hour. Reporting in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. In today's health alert, we need to talk. That's the goal of World Cancer Day. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live at the Mission Cancer Center. And Vic, today we are clearing up any confusion. That's exactly it. If you check out the website, which we have links to uh, for you and so on, it talks about debunking a lot of myths. These are dangerous misconceptions about what cancer is and is not. Last time we were talking about the idea that we don't need to talk about cancer. Well, yes, yes we do. Dr. Michael Messino and I were talking um, about how important it is to get that conversation going. And this time the myth we're taking on is the idea that there are no signs or symptoms of cancer. A lot of people here you know, they know someone who wasn't diagnosed until it was too late in their eyes. That's not always the case, is it? That's correct. Early diagnosis is very important. And we're taught since we're children and even as uh, scouts that there are symptoms and signs of cancer. And the American Cancer Society has seven that they talk about. You can find those on their websites. You can find them on the mission website. And, and they're not the only things. And the most important thing is to maintain care with your doctor. So we need to be in here in a regular time, having our regular doctor's appointments, you know, seeing our primary physician and so they can know what we're, our bodies are about so we can know how to tell them what's going on in our life? Yes. I mean, if you find something different in your health care, then you really need to look into it because the earlier you diagnose cancer, the more likely you are to uh, be cured. This has been a wonderful website here. We just debunked the myths, number two, that there are no signs or symptoms of cancer, and we're actually going to be able to give people more details on that when they go to this website. And uh, coming up in our next half hour, we're going to take on yet another myth tied to this. This is information that if we get it accurate, it can really make a difference. We're talking saving lives. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria, Dunkel News 13. Avoiding cancer-causing habits like smoking is just one focus of World Cancer Day. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from the Mission Cancer Center. And Victoria, we've been talking, taking on some of the common myths, so what's the focus this time? Well, the focus this time is myth number three, which says that there is nothing I can do about cancer. That couldn't be further from the truth. As I've been talking with Dr. Michael Messina, who is an oncologist and works here at Mission Health in this cancer center and works with people every day, there is something we can all do about cancer, right? Yes, there, there's a lot we can do about cancer. We need early diagnosis, and then there are very good treatments now becoming more personalized in our treatments, and some of the treatments we have are curative, uh, we're curing more patients uh, with cancer now every day. So we're talking about some of the preventing opportunities here, uh, the regular screenings and so on. Can you give me an idea of what are some basic health screenings that someone should keep in their uh, lineup, if you will, as we're trying to live a cancer-free life? Well, you know, I think we, we talk about mammography. That's a very important thing. And the earlier diagnosis, again, helps. And I think people just need to see their physician. You know, uh, the physician is the person who kind of knows what you should be doing and, and will guide you through that. 
I know when I see my doctor on a regular basis, I talk to her and I ask her, okay, this year, what tests do I need to have? And we make a plan. It's nothing to be afraid of, right? That's correct. What are some of the things that um, really that people come into you and think, I've been diagnosed with this, there's nothing more I can do, and they, there's a sense of hopelessness? Yeah, that, that's been the problem with cancer for many years, and people don't realize we've made tremendous uh, progress. And, and if you look at the number of patients now that are cured with cancer, we're starting to move into an era where we're talking about more survivorship and, and long-term survivors. So we, we really need to think about cancer in a different way. And that's the whole goal of World Cancer Day. We have some great links to more information for you. This is a powerful thing that you can do. Knowledge is always power. And coming up in our next half hour, we are going to talk a little bit more about what Dr. Messina was just talking about. The new challenge, if you will, of helping people who are cancer survivors. It's a great problem to have. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Today's health alert is all about clearing up confusion. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live on World Cancer Day. And Victoria, there's a new welcome challenge in cancer treatment. Absolutely. <clears throat> it's called the challenge of helping treat cancer survivors. We're seeing the numbers go up, and that is the best news ever. Dr. Michael Messino and I were talking about that. That's a challenge you can live with, right? That's a very good challenge. Now, this myth, we've been taking a look at different myths that are brought up about cancer, and this time around is that, that I don't have the right to cancer treatment, and you say that's not true. That's not true. Patients really should seek cancer care because the uh, treatments are so much better now and the results are so very, very good. Now, if this was such an important thing to get us talking about cancer, to get us you know, debunking these myths that uh, Chevy actually gave up some of its Super Bowl ad time for its spot on the Purple Roads campaign. As we take a look a little bit at that video, tell me about um, the importance of getting people to talk about cancer. Well, you need to discuss cancer and you need to not fear cancer. And we, we just need people to understand that the treatments are there. There are still cancers that we're struggling with, but there are many cancers that we can really cure. And so our number of survivors are going up, and we're, we're needing to deal with that situation. For example, you and I were talking about a recent drug that came out that has actually allowed a certain type of leukemia to be cured. Absolutely, and it's really sort of the poster child for cancer care. We, we hope that we have more drugs like that that take a disease which was absolutely uncurable and made it curable in many, many patients. Now back out here live with the, that ad you saw from mm -hmm. Chevy, it is actually part of the Purple Roads campaign, and this is what you are able to do. Uh, we have a link to this on our news link section. You can purple your profile, and for every profile you purple, we'll actually, they will donate a dollar to the American Cancer Society, and that'll help with research, that'll help with treatment, and that'll help us all get to the point where we can talk about cancer without being afraid. That's right. Absolutely great idea. So purple the profile, and uh, you can find out more information about the Mission Cancer Center and other treatment options, as well as early detection when you go to WLOS.com and click on News Links. Live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.